Hey everyone and welcome back to another feature cast tutorial. I'm going to look at a side chain in this time. Uh, this is something a lot of you have requested and it's uh, obviously such an important part of dance music and used so much. Uh, I think it's a good uh, topic to cover quickly. Um, I'm going to use a, a visual kind of aid to kind of show how this is working because uh, I think it makes more sense if you can see it as well. Uh, so I'm going to use the wave shaper uh, to show you. Uh, and again, like with the uh, compression video I did, uh, I'm going to use a sine wave uh, so you can see visually what's happening uh, when you start uh, using... Uh, the side chain in effect. So uh, basically I have the sine wave here and I have a kick. Uh, if I play the sine wave, we can of course see the straight line. Uh, I have the kick here, but I don't have it set to an output. So it's not actually playing. You won't actually hear it. As you can see, there's nothing playing. Uh, and I don't want it to play because I don't want it to get in the way of what's happening to the affected sound. Uh, so basically I'm going to go to the sine wave. I'm going to load a compressor, the C1. Uh, I'm going to go to the side chain. Uh, and you'll have this on any compressor. It doesn't have to be the C1. Most compressors will have side chain in option. Uh, the C1 just seems to do a great job of it, so I, I tend to use that a lot. Uh, and I've, I've named the kick kick side chain, so I'm going to side chain, kick side chain, select that. I'm going to want it to react very quickly, so I'm going to set a super fast attack to it. Uh, I might even put it to one. Uh, uh, and the release we're going to set to about 40 for now. We'll look at that again in a minute. Um, the ratio I'm going to put pretty high. Let's put up to six. And okay, so I'm now going to play it and then I'm going to start to bring the threshold down and you'll start to see the compressor kicking in and starting to work. And what this will then do is it will create a dip in the uh, sine wave audio. So as you can see, it's created a dip there in volume uh, where the kick is, there and there. I don't know, if maybe that would line up. So there we go. So you can see, you can visually see that this kick is making the sine wave dip in volume. Uh, and that's kind of how you would use it uh, if you had kicks and a bass playing at the same time that were kind of around the same frequencies you would put the compressor on the bass line and make the kick duck the bass line out uh, so you're not getting a build up of audio and, uh, and muddiness and and frequencies that are just causing your your mix to sound pretty horrible in the lower ends uh, so that's kind of what you would use that for uh, i don't know if you can see there's a a slight very small peak there and I think that's because I didn't set the attack quick enough so if I put that right down sorry and then we try that again yeah so you can see that's completely gone now uh, so that's it basically I hope that's been helpful in side chaining and getting an idea of how it works um, don't forget to check out my sample pack on Loop Masters you can go and grab that now and don't forget to comment on any video ideas that you'd like to hear about or, or like me to cover in the future. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.